السلام عليكم Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the first intermediate grade for the second semester of this year our subject as you know is the English language from the book full plus two our lesson for today is 1D food facts this is the second part so we have pronunciation and listen this whole presentation is prepared and it will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani so first of all thank you very much all of you I'm really, really happy to be with brilliant students like you. The second thing I want to make sure that you understand our book is full plus two. It is not super goal. It is full plus two. The third and the most important thing is that I want to ask you something. Everyone, are you ready to begin our lesson? Very nice. Let's go. Today we will learn the pronunciation of the letter G. So sometimes we pronounce it as J, as the sound J, and sometimes we pronounce it as the sound G, J and G. So we will take more examples about these two sounds or the two uh, kinds of pronunciation. Okay. The second thing, new fruit vocabularies. So today we have more vocabularies about fruits and also about food and these things. The third thing, practice listening. So we have a, a few sentences that we want to listen to and we will do some exercise relates to our listening and relates to our understanding. Okay, very nice. Let's begin. Vocabulary A, listen and repeat. What is the difference between A, this word, and B, this word? Okay, so A, yogurt, yogurt, B, orange, orange. So what do you think? What is the difference between two, these two sounds? So here I'm talking about, you know, about these two bold letters. Can you see them? This one, okay, and this one. So this is G, as we know, and also this is G, but in this word, we pronounce it as yogurt, G, yogurt, yogurt, okay, and this one, orange, orange, orange. So pr we pronounce it as the sound J. Okay, this is G and this is J. Yogurt, orange. Okay, do you understand the difference? Very nice, beautiful. B, listen and tick the sound you hear. Okay, so we have three columns here. The first one, it has many words. Okay, and the second one, it has the sound G. Just like yogurt. So if we pronounce it just like G, we will tick here. If we pronounce it like J, like orange, we will tick here, okay? okay? And I want to say something very important. This is the sound G. So we write it this way. I'm talking about the sound, not the letter. The sound G, we write it like this. This is the sample of the letter of the sound of the sound G. But this is the simple or this is the sound j j j okay okay listen everyone i want you to listen now listen b listen and tick the sound you hear yogurt orange hungry change egg Vegetables, strange, go, dangerous. Very nice. Okay, let's take them one by one. The first one, hungry, hungry, hungry. Is it pronounced just like yogurt, g, or just like 
orange j g or j hungry hung hungry excellent just like yogurt it is the sound of g g okay very nice what about change change excellent just like orange orange egg egg just like yogurt egg very nice vegetables vegetables excellent just like orange vegetables strange strange also orange just like orange j j we cannot say string no it's wrong we have to say strange in this word it's the sound j just like orange strange go 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 what do you think yogurt just like ga yogurt excellent dangerous dangerous excellent j orange dangerous dangerous j very nice excellent so now we can see the difference we know the difference between g and j let's go to the next listen a before you listen try to match the information from a to e with the pictures from one to five below so we have these five pictures number one pitaya number two death cap number three truffles number four banana flower number five durian okay and we have this information so i will read them and try to write the letters here okay try to write them while i'm listening it's okay i want you to guess maybe it might be good it might be right or maybe it might be wrong so it's okay we will fix them later number one or the first one a you can't eat this so what do you think which one we cannot eat them okay the second thing b this smells very bad which one C. This tastes very nice in salads. Okay, next D. This is very expensive. E. They also call this a dragon fruit. Which one? Okay, very nice. So I think now you wrote the letters. Let's listen now and let's make sure. I want you to try to understand and try to fix the mistakes that you have. Try to correct them. Correct the mistakes, okay? Listen, everyone. Listen. Okay, children. Are you ready to begin the game? I've got some cards here with pictures on them. Let's see if you can name these different kinds of food. Here's the first one. Lee? I think that's a durian. That's right. For an extra point, do you know anything about durians? They smell very bad. That's right. They taste nice, but they smell horrible. On to the next picture. It's a mushroom. Uh, yes, but what kind of mushroom? No? It's called a death cap, and it can be very dangerous. So, you can't eat it? Oh, no, definitely not. Next picture now. Pam? Are they some kind of strawberry? No, they are a fruit, though. They are called pitayas, or dragon fruit, and you can find them in Central and South America. Next picture. Lee? Are those... potatoes? No, sorry. They look a bit like potatoes, but they don't taste like them. They are truffles. Really? They are really expensive, right? 
Yes, the record is £165,000. But no extra points for you. Last picture now. Pam? Um, I'm not sure. Is it a fruit? No, sorry. It's a banana flower, but you can eat it. In Southeast Asia, they eat them in salads. That's interesting. OK, Lee has got 14 points and Pam... OK, very nice. So let's go back, let's go back to the information, the sentences that we had. A, what do you think about A? You can't eat them. So which one of them you cannot eat them? They are dangerous. Which one? Excellent, number two. Yes, it is. So we have to write number two. If you wrote number two, it's correct. If you didn't write number two, I want you to correct it now and write number two. And B, okay, this smells very bad. Hmm, which one smells very bad? Which one of them? Excellent, number five, durian. Excellent, number five. So, B with number five. Next, C. This tastes very nice in salads. Which one? Some people, they use it with salads. Which one? Excellent, banana flower. So, C. With number four. D. This is very expensive. Which one of them is very expensive? Which one? What do you think? Excellent. Number three. Truffles. Beautiful. D. With number three. Okay. E. They also call this a dragon fruit. Which one? Excellent. Number one, Pitaya. Very nice. So, E with number one. Okay. E with number one. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. B. Now listen and check your answers. Okay. Very nice. So, we have these five sentences. We want to know if this sentence is true or false correct or wrong okay so we listened previously at the to the conversation or to the contents okay if you want to listen again you can go back to listen to them and get back to do this let's start with number one number one durians taste horrible mm, what do you think about this one is it true or false is it true or false this is false, exactly. You know, they smell horrible, but they taste very good. The smell is terrible, but the taste is fantastic, okay? Number two, pitayas are a kind of strawberry. Pitayas are a kind of strawberry. Is it true or false? Very nice, it is false. It is not a kind of strawberry number three you can find dragon fruit in south america you can find dragon fruit which is uh, we call it pitaya in south america is it true or false excellent yes it is true very nice number four truffles taste like potatoes truffles they taste like potatoes What do you think? False. Very nice. Okay. Number five. People in Southeast Asia eat banana flowers. They eat it. What do you think? In Southeast Asia. This is true. Beautiful. Excellent. Very nice. So today we learned the first thing, the pronunciation of the letter G, and we said we can pronounce it J in some words, and we can pronounce it also G in other words. Number two, new fruit vocabularies. 
Number three, practice listening. So this is the end of our lesson. Those are the references that we use today. Student's book, teacher's guide, audio, Google clips. If you want to use all of this just to help you studying, it's beautiful. Uh, those are the contacting numbers, the accounts, the websites for Ain website and for Tatweer Company for Educational Services. If you need more information, you can use them. As I said, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you very much, all of you, for being with me. I hope I see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.